battling it out for the Eastern Canadian Heavyweight Championship. Brody Steele. It looks like coming down to the down to the ring, Brody Steele. Our challenger tonight. Now, as our opponents make their way to ringside, uh, Ryan Casey, who do you like in this one? Well, as I said before, Cowboy Mike Hughes definitely has the strength in numbers here tonight. Brody Steele's looking huge. He is looking huge, but he doesn't have a friend on this side of the Confederation Bridge. Now, as president and as a broadcaster, I like to remain objective. However, I see no way Brody Steele is taking the title here tonight. Brody Steele is look, definitely as looking soon as confident. Everyone, as soon as Cowboy Mike Hughes comes out, you watch all the little cowboys and all the little cowgirls. I, I do not see Brody Steele being able to defeat Cowboy Mike Hughes tonight. I just can't see it happening because remember, remember Ryan Casey, the rules of a title match are simple. You have to beat the champion. You and, definitely have to beat the and champion. And for Brody Steele to pin Cowboy Mike use his shoulders down for a one, two, three, or make him submit, I just can't see that happening. Regardless okay. of what happens here tonight, both men are never going to be the same again. I uh, Most definitely. This is probably the biggest match in the history of Atlantic Canada, or at least in the last 10 years. Not since the days of Leo Burke and the Cuban Assassin has there been a bigger match in Atlantic Canada. Brody Steele is definitely taking this all in stride. Well, Brody, Brody Steele's in tremendous shape. All right, here comes the champion. Listen, just listen to the ovation. Ryan Casey, I'm not even going to try there's, to talk him. There's a rumble in here. What's going on? I don't know. Look at that. A red rock Harley Davidson motorcycle. Oh. What an entrance. Comes in on a motorcycle. One of a kind entrance. It's very difficult to try to talk over this. Our defending, four years now, he has held the Eastern Canadian Championship. Defended against all comers, including former WWE stars Al Snow and Rhino. He's beaten them all. And now he goes one on one with his former best friend. And when I say best friend, these two are brothers. These two are like brothers. You watch the television show Cardinal Sinners, you'll see how close these two men were. They you know, toured the world together. They did, they toured the world together. And I'll tell you, Ryan Casey, honestly, from a promotion standpoint, I didn't want this match to happen. I tried to talk both of them out of it. Brody still was adamant. He wanted a shot at the title. Cowboy the, looks incredibly focused our here champion, tonight. Our champion with all his little cowboys and all the little cowgirls. I don't see him losing this match tonight. Like I said, I tried to talk both of these men out of this match because this is a friendship, 10-year friendship. But both were adamant. Steele wanted the title, and Cowboy Mike Hughes wants to step away from the shadow. Nobody in maritime wrestling has a better win-loss record than Brody Steele in the last 10 years. And I think Cowboy himself wants to prove to himself that he can defeat his former Cardinal Center tag team partner. Brody Steele is getting more angry right now with this audience with every scream that they give to Cowboy Mike Hughes. He I'm a, is I'm just making a prediction right here. There's no way Brody Steele is leaving here with the title. Not with the support that, that the fans of Stratford are giving Cowboy Mike Hughes. And let's, let's get the ring in, uh, introductions. The Eastern Canadian Heavyweight Championship is on right. the line. I would be terrified too. Brody Steele is an intimidating man. Even for a man in my authority, I uh, do still find him intimidating. And he is not too popular, but Brody Steele does look focused. I'll wait for the response to the champion. These guys oh, know each other. They're going toe to toe. Six foot six and six foot eight. These guys know each other so well that I don't know how 
one of them is going to find a hole in the other one's game. I don't, I don't know. That's one of the uh, advantages of, of being partners all those years. It's going to be a chance by chance fight here tonight. This is literally the biggest match in the history of maritime wrestling with size alone. Brody Steele looks so focused, so focused. And Mike Hughes looks right at home here in Stratford, Prince Edward Island. so confident. Four years now, he's been the Eastern Canadian champion, the most prestigious championship in all of Canada. Like I said, I just can't see Mike Hughes losing tonight, or at least losing his title. Mike Hughes is so experienced. Rallying all the cowboys and cowgirls, isn't he? He's getting all the little cowboys and little cowgirls. Getting them going here, and he is a hero in this province of Prince Edward Island. So many kids coming up to me and telling me, we love cowboy Mike Hughes, he is our hero. Can you get me an autograph? Well, Brody Steele, the first lockup showing his power. Cowboy's not looking too concerned just yet. Brody Steele is confident. Well, he, he has come to Prince Edward Island today for a purpose. Well, he's every pound of that 320. I don't know if this is wise for Brody Steele to be picking on all these Islanders. Well, I don't know. I mean, this is going to be a slow pace because of everything that's at stake here. It's the Eastern Canadian Championship, the most prestigious title in all of Canada. I mean, one mistake with, with, the, with gentlemen of these two caliber and the power of these two, one mistake could cost them the match. And each know each other so well. I can't and reiterate that. One thing that to note, well. Cowboy Mike Hughes is trimmed down for this match. He knew he's not gonna be able to match power with Brody Steele. He's been working out with Janine and Jason Mosier at Naturally Fit. Trying to drop some weight and gain some speed. So this is, this is gonna be starting a PEI chant. So he has been putting some work in at Naturally Fit. Cowboy Mike Hughes, he's reached rock star status here in Stratford tonight. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Very hard to talk over this capacity crowd here. Stratford, Prince Edward Island. They are definitely on the side of Cowboy Mike Hughes tonight. I'd like to give a shout out to Ron McDougall from McDougal Steel, responsible for the con construction of this brand new wrestling ring. Some of the wrestlers were warming up in it prior to the match and they said this is just probably the finest wrestling ring they have ever seen. So great job for Ron McDougal and the, his staff at McDougal Steel here in Borden, in Borden Prince Edward Island. Big challenge thrown out there by Cowboy Mike Cowboy's Hughes. Cowboy's trying to pick up the pace. Obviously, if he can pick up the pace, he's going to use his speed advantage. The slower that things are, the more it's going to go to the power of Brody Steele. He outweighs him by about, I'd say, 50 pounds. I tell you exactly what's going on right now, but I can't see around Brody Steele. His back is that big right now. Well, his back's almost the size of that screen above the ring entrance. And people forget Brody Steele is a legitimate strong man. Chris Cross. Beautiful hip toss. Beautiful hip toss. Lariat doesn't take him down. Se second close line takes him down. And Brody Steele wisely back pedals. Cowboy Mike Hughes getting the early edge here in this Eastern Canadian Heavyweight Championship match. Brody Steele trying to calm all the Islanders down. I don't well, think it's going to work. I said earlier, Brody Steele is a legitimate strongman. In the early 2000s, he was a veteran of the strongman circuit. And he won many, many a Canadian National Strongman Championship. So he is a legitimate strongman. He's not one of these bodybuilding show muscles. He is legitimately among the strongest men in the country. He's getting kind of close to us. I'm kind of scared. Uh, I always get a little bit intimidated when Brody Steele gets this close. Uh, maybe these kids in front of us will protect us. I don't know. Now Brody Steele seems to have something open on the back of Brody Steele. He's bleeding. Maybe when he, when, oh, big thundering. Smash, oh, a big right by Brody Steele. Fans are reminded at ringside to stay away from the action. These are two huge men, a nice European uppercut by Brody Steele, and he's busted open his back. They don't Brentford. like each other very much right now. Oh, there's an injury to Brody Steele. Oh, but Cowboys fighting back, headbutt by Hughes. I was pretty confident oh, that the match handle. wouldn't Down stay in Hughes. the ring the whole time. This 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 fight could take place anywhere in PEI at this point. Well, I'd say they're that upset with each other. And Cody, uh, well, actually, I'll tell you, I gave Cody Costain some uh, instructions prior to the match to relax the ten count. Not that we want to forget about the ten count, but we want this settled in the ring. We definitely want to settle in the ring. We want a champion crowned oh, here tonight. Brody Steele hits the post and he goes down. 
Cowboy, oh. this Cowboy Mike Hughes is taking charge of this match. Definitely. And Brody Steele's bleeding from the back. Oh! oh! Wow, that was a stiff job. I felt that right here. Brody Steele is in trouble. The Cowboy Hughes is looking confident. Whoa! Now you gave Cody Costain some instructions to be relax on the 10 count. I did. But there still has to be a pinfall in the ring for the title to change hands. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh! oh. You Never see turn your back on Brody Steele. You turn your back for one second You're and the match trouble. turns completely around. And the chest of Brody Steele, you can whack that all day and you're not gonna hurt him. And you can see the power difference. He's taking Hughes down with a few shots. Can't believe the power of Brody Steele. I've seen this man wrestle for 10 years. Every time I see him, he amazes me. Again, like the giant Grimes, television and DVD does not do Brody Steele justice. Anytime he's on a card, buy a ticket. I encourage you. Come on out and see him. His Cody Costain trying to get them back into the ring at this oh, point. He's doing the best he can. I'm not going to criticize Cody Costain. I know myself, refereeing is a challenging position. But Cody Costain is one of the finest in the business. Now he's finally yeah, getting the wrestlers ring. back into the ring. And the, Strat the capacity crowd here at Stratford is clearly behind Cowboy Mike Hughes. Oh, no. Don't turn your back. Ouch. Oh. Now, Cowboy has a serious, has a history of neck problems. That could cause some problems. If I'm Brody Steele, though, I'm taking advantage of this. I'm not trying to insult the fine people at PEI anymore. He's I already, he's it. already succeeded but in that. Cowboy's determined. He's back in the ring, probably a little sooner than I would think. Brody Steele now put the pressure on that neck. Cowboy has had neck surgery in the past. Not many people would know the exact position of the neck surgery, but Brody Steele would. How well, those two are like brothers. So absolutely, Brody Steele would know every weakness of Cowboy Mike Hughes, and For vice versa. Former tag team champions. All these two were tag team champions in Korea and throughout the world. The interest in this match was huge. I've had emails from Korea, Puerto Rico, Germany, people asking for copies of this broadcast. You know, it's not just Brody Steele and Cowboy Mike Hughes. But their friends and their family are involved in this situation as well. This is a very emotional match between absolutely, the two men. Absolutely, they're two, they're both families have been very close. Sucks. Oh, that's not very nice to say. PI sucks. But like I said, Ryan Casey, this match does have international implications. These two were tag team champions in Korea. Mike Hughes is a legend in Puerto Rico, in the Great Britain, in the United Kingdom, and in Germany. Brody Steele's a huge star. Like I said, I'm getting emails from promoters throughout the world wanting copies of this match to find out who is better here. And a lot of people who might not know the back history of these two phenomenal athletes and Cowboy have, Mike Hughes is fighting his way out of this. Have watched Wrestling Reality and the Cardinal Centers, and they know the Cowboy goal. was able to fight his way out of that tremendous move by Calvary. Calvary Hughes into the corner. I, Fast and Furious, big boot. Uh -oh. Big boot. Now Brody Steele's going to fly. That's huge. Oh! Off the top rope clothesline. Big clothesline. That might be enough to do it. One, two. Oh, Mike Hughes is not going to go down with the clothesline off the second turnbuckle well, was, in his home province. Well, that was Brody Steele's 320 pound clothesline. That was huge. Huge clothesline. Oh. Brody Steele is starting to dominate. Mike Hughes is clearly taking most of the punishment here. But I think this is a long way from over. Mike Hughes looks to be in tremendous pain. He can take a lot of punishment. You're not the Eastern Canadian heavyweight champion for four years without taking punishment. That's true, that's true. A lot of photographers taken here. We have Wade McDonald, one of Red Rock Wrestling's top photographers, taking pictures ringside here. So bright. Now nice to come back. Hughes. And Hughes is making a big comeback. Hires whip into the corner. Oh, he set that up. He's gonna reverse this to a neck break. Oh, that was a devastating. Once again, working on that neck area of Cowboy Mike Hughes. Devastating neck breaker. But he's gotta go for the cover. What's he waiting for? He wants to be champion, go for the cover. Oh no, Maybe, not, maybe no. being champion no, tonight not to, is not enough for not, Brody Steele. But the disdain of just walking over Cowboy Mike Hughes. Maybe he just wants to beat him up. It would seem, and, now, and, and all right, now he's going for a front face lock. And if you've ever seen the arms on Brody Steele, a front face lock is a huge move. It's a smother. It is. 
His arms are amazingly huge. Now can Cowboy Mike Hughes fight his way out of this? I he's, certainly hope so. He, he's gonna have to harness the energy from the 500 or so fans right, here. The, the arm is dropped once. It drops three times, he's out. Cody's checking him. Going for it again. That's two. That's two. One more time and we got a new Eastern Canadian heavyweight champion. Can it be? No, he's still there. Now come on, if we get the people supporting Cowboy Mike Hughes, then just maybe, just maybe, he can fight his way out of this, I don't know. The fans are chanting oh, nice B-E-I. Get out of there, ducks the clothesline. Side suplex, huge side suplex. Oh, right on the wow. lower back. He could damage some vertebrae with that. Now Brody Steele, if he was wise, he'd go for the cover. Cowboy. If he was wise, if he was wise. And he is wise, he is, he is a veteran of 11 years experience in wrestling. Now he's going back. He's gonna make a top rope move. Oh! oh. Cowboy just barely got out of the way. He might have caught a little bit of that. I can't quite tell. They're both in trouble now. But this, We're is, count. This, this is the break that Cowboy Mike Hughes needs. Referee Cody Costain counting both Turn men. To count them down. Both are in trouble. I'd hate to see this end in a double count out. We don't want that. Well, and I did tell Cody to, to, to be a little bit relaxed on that count. Oh, it looks, it looks like Brody Steele is coming around. I wanted to finish a finish. Do you really believe that a definitive finish of the match will end the problems between these two big men? I don't know. I don't know. Goes to the right, blocks by Hughes. No, and it's right by Hughes, rights to Hughes. Hughes is getting the, getting the advantage here. Close line, Brody Steele staggered. Another, Another one. close line. Goes down, down to, to one knee. knee. Can he take him down? Hughes is going to the second rope. Fly elbow smash on the second rope, finally takes him down. Cover that man, and cover Cowboy him. Mike Hughes has picked up the speed here. Cover that man, I'm getting tired just watching this match. He's going for a leg drop perhaps from the top rope. He's looking for some approval from the crowd. Big leg Big drop. Big leg drop. Can he get it? Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh. Ooh. Just about close. got it. Almost defended his title. Complaining about the count. That's him up. Can he slam him? No, he's setting up for the Uzi driver. Big body slam. And down he goes. Uzi driver. One, two. Oh Almost my goodness. got it. I can't believe he did good from that. Brody Steele is determined. He wants this match. He wants oh. to be the heavyweight champion. Absolutely. Reversal. Big boot to the bread basket. He's setting him up for the last ride for a power bomb. He hits this and we finish. Oh no. Nice reversal. Russian leg sweep. And what are we? What do we have here? I don't know, I can't see anything right here. What's going on here? What, what's Chris Cook doing here? That's him up for the suplex. Oh, Chris Cook's got his ankle. What's going on? One, Cody, one. two. No, no! We have a new no, champion! No! John the Cairns! That wasn't supposed to happen. Chris Cook, what? That was not supposed to happen. Chris Cook, what are you we doing We have a here? new Eastern Canadian. Chris Cook, Canadian. what the heck is he doing out here? New Eastern Canadian professional heavyweight champion, what? Cody Steele. Oh, excuse me, I gotta go to the ringside, I gotta check. Cowboy Mike Hughes has lost his championship, the heavyweight championship here in Prince Edward Island. What is Chris Cook doing? Red Rock Wrestling President, John DeCaren's getting into the ring right now. I don't know what to tell you at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, John DeCaren is trying to plead his case to Cody Costain. I know that we're supposed to be objective here, ladies and gentlemen, but Cody Costain missed the call on that one. If you don't believe me, ask all these other Islanders sitting here. Cowboy Mike Hughes with the microphone. Let's see what he has to say. I know what I invented. So you want to 
You will not. You will not do it. You won't do it? Somebody was holding my leg when I tried to kick off. shot. We now have a new Eastern Canadian heavyweight champion in Brody Steele. Kelly Mike Hughes is, he's beside himself in the ring. He doesn't know what to think, but clearly the fans here in Stratford are still behind their local hero. After the intermission, we're going to hear from President Jonathan Carrots once again. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we still have our big pro-main event, the 10 man over the top rope. Red Rock Rumble. The winner of the match will be the number one contender for now Brody Steele's Heavyweight Championship. 